the account was nothing short of brutal and must have hit Phil Vetrano and his family like hammer blows. All the more painful because it's allegedly in the killer's own words. Chanel Lewis, the man who's been indicted for the murder of Karina Vetrano back in August, was in court today having an appearance that we thought would be perfunctory, quick, in and out. What we didn't expect was that prosecutors would read snippets of statements that Lewis allegedly gave to them while being interviewed about Karina's murder, offering a killer's eye view of a murder that shocked New York City and continues to reverberate right down to now. According to prosecutors, Lewis gave these statements in an interview with police the day that they took a DNA sample and three days later when he was actually arrested. According to Lewis, he would occasionally walk from his home in Brooklyn to the Howard Beach neighborhood of Queens because he liked eating there. He first came to the area in 2016, but told police he was not familiar with the weeds area where Karina was running. Um, and now in the later interviews, what he told police, it gets a little graphic. He says of Karina encountering her on the path, when I saw her, I just lost it. I wanna change my life, he told detectives. Now, the reason that Chanel Lewis was walking back in the weeds he says that his house was nice, peaceful, and quiet on August 2nd, but then a neighbor started playing music loud and people came to his house. That upset him, that enraged him. So he walked away, walked to Howard Beach, literally decided to vent his anger on a human being he just happened to encounter on the jogging pathway, Karina Vetrano. His account of the brutal attack, according to detectives, she was running towards me and I just lost it. I beat her to let my emotions out, Lewis allegedly said. Her teeth broke. I got madder and madder, and I strangled her. I pulled her into the weeds with my hands. According to Lewis, Karina's face was in a puddle, and that's where he left her, pulling her into the weeds where he says her pants came off. Um, he grabbed her and punched her multiple times, saying the attack lasted about five minutes. He then left the area and never came back. Um, any signs of remorse from Lewis? Well, surprisingly, the answer seems to be yes, because on his ride to central booking in police custody, according to this statement, he asked to see a photo of Karina's parents, Phil and Kathy, and said, as he was literally being booked for this brutal murder, tell my mom that I'm sorry. So, you know, truly, uh, it's, it's tough. It was, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a long time, and uh, I was surprised that it was uh, tough for me to listen to. So I can't even imagine how Phil Vetrano uh, feels. And just another point, you know, personally from the beginning, I was sort of a little dismissive, incorrectly dismissive of this being a completely and totally random attack. This is one of the most random crimes I have ever seen, completely random. If Karina leaves her house five minutes earlier or five minutes later, this doesn't happen. This is something no parent should ever have to go through. It's just, you know, we're not necessarily involved with the case. We're not related. And this takes a minute for, you know, me at least to digest. I, I can't wrap my head around it. It's hard to listen to that kind of testimony. Just sickening. He gets a trial and we'll see what happens then. All right, thanks.